Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a makeup haul of some of the products that I have bought recently. Um, and they are some high-end products and some cheaper drugstore products. So I'm first of all going to start with um, the new foundation I bought, which is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation Ambience. And I got shade uh, Vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. It looks like vanilla, but vanilla. Um, so this was uh, £35 and I got this from uh, NK Space, or Space NK. I always get it confused. Uh, so it's got a little pump applicator, which is really nice. And I did go out and buy this after I got a little sample in um, from one of my friends. And I was like, wow, this sample is really nice quality on the skin the foundation. It's quite a light medium coverage. Um, I'll just show you a little swatch of it. Um, it's very very creamy, very hydrating and moisturizing and it basically lets some of your natural skin show through but it does give enough coverage to just give a really radiant, um, very as it says candlelit glow uh, look to the skin and I went for this sort of vanilla shade which is uh, basically got like a yellowy warm undertone so it's not too red. Um, which I like always on my skin to have a little bit more of a yellow undertone. So I'm excited about that product uh, to use it in some of my tutorials and show for sort of a natural, everyday, glowy, radiant look without being too dewy. Um, and I really like that foundation, um, the Laura Mercier foundation, because it is really good quality. So it feels like it's doing good things for the skin. Uh, the next product I got from uh, Space NK was this R Glass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. And I got that in shade Ivory. So it's like a little stick foundation and I am going to be doing a review of this um, because I know that um, it's quite different than any of the other foundations that I've used before on my channel where it is a stick. So um, yeah, it just looks like this and it's easy to travel and transport and it's kind of a cool little triangle shape which I like. Um, so I'm looking forward to showing you guys a look with that. Uh, next, which I'm really excited about, um, was the Look It Concealer Cream uh, by Kat Von D, and I got shade Light Warm 3. So this is a concealer from the Look It collection, and it claims to be 24-hour wear, crease-proof, full coverage, hydrating. Um, so when I seen that, I was like, wow, got to get this. So this was from Debahims. I bought it because I do stock... Um, Kat Von D, which is really cool now, and also you can buy this online if you don't have one. It looks like this lovely packaging, um, and it's got a little stick applicator. I love full coverage uh, concealers because they do have dark circles. It's got a little nice little nib bit. So this is very light uh, concealer because I always like to do highlighting under my eye with the concealer. And this does have like a little bit of a warm yellow, it's kind of, yeah, I haven't used this one before. I basically, it's kind of like a warm undertone, but it's not too yellow and it's not too red and it blends out. So I am very fair, so it looks very really white in the container, but that actually will match me. So I did get this one online, so it was always a bit of a guessing game, but from looking at uh, this on my hand now, it does look like a good uh, color match. And I am excited to try this out in some of my looks and let you guys know. And actually, if you would like to see a review of that, please leave me a comment below of the Kat Von D or any of these other products. If you'd like to see a review, leave me a comment and I can always do a review and let you guys know in more in-depth what I think of it and what's the positive and what's the negative. Um, then on to lip products. Uh, so I did feel like we're coming into autumn so I needed some more autumn-y lip colours. Um, so I got this Gerald Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lip uh, long wear liquid lipstick and I got it in shade 1995 and I got this from Beauty Bay um, and it is this, it looks like this. So I do really, I've got one of the other Gerald Cosmetics. I feel like this matches my nails quite well. I got the nails done in sort of an autumn-y movie shade, ready for this sort of autumn season as we're now actually pretty much full on autumn and summer is gone. Um, so, well, I was just going to put that on my lips there, I was like, so natural once I open a lipstick just to put it straight on. So I'll swatch you this um, colour. So this is a really, I love their 
uh, Gerard Cosmetics liquid lips because they are li liquid lipsticks because they are very hydrating and not drying out of the lips. So that's the color there. Show you. It's sort of like um, a brownie mauvey, yeah, brownie ready mauve shade. So it's kind of like great for the autumn, uh, very autumny looking and I really like this shade and I don't have anything quite like it so I thought it was good for autumn makeup looks to be able uh, to do some autumn looks for you guys. Um, and yeah, it's this retails for 1050 and I feel the quality is really good. It's like, uh, I find, it's actually probably one of my favourite formulas so I will be getting more of these because it does last on the lips. It does come off a little bit, like you might have to top up once in the day but it lasts really long and it doesn't dry out and go super cracked lips like some liquid lipsticks can just make you look like whoa your lips are dead because they're so dry. <laughs> um, the next lip product I got was my first ever lipstick queen uh, lip product and this is actually what I'm wearing on my lips at the moment. Um, so this is a peachy nude, oh it's called peachy nude sinner and this is um, I got this from Space NK and it comes in the packaging like this so it's a lovely, it feels really expensive packaging which I like and this is Peachy Nude Sinner and this is because um, I noticed that they have diff the exact same shades um, off like across the different ones pretty much but then this is the collection that is 90% pigment. They do do the same shade but with only like 10% pigment so it's very a sheer coverage but this is a full coverage lipstick and it's hydrating so sometimes very full coverage, uh, very pigmented lipsticks can be very drying on the lips but not this one. It's uh, designed to be 90% pigment but really really uh, moisturising still. So this is what's on my lips and I'll just show you what the shade looks like on the back of my hands. So it's like a peachy orange nude shade and I really, really like it. I feel like it looks lovely for autumn and it's very everyday and I feel like it suits my skin tone really well. And they had a lot of different shades and different finishes of lipsticks, which was really cool. Um, so I will be probably going back to get more because uh, I did really like the feel of this on my lips and hadn't ever bought anything from this brand before. But yeah, I was really impressed and it's £22. So it, isn't like a super cheap lipstick but I feel like for the quality and the full coverage and the way it sits on the skin I'm really really happy with that. Um, the next lip product that I got is Mew and Lux um, Metallic Liquid Lips in Shade Blaze. So it looks like this and it is a metallic liquid lip and it's I'll just give you a little swatch. Again I was sort of feeling the autumny colours when I was shopping so it's like this purpley, purpley within little bits of uh, sort of sort of sparkle red purpley reflex. So it's like very fine reflex because it is meant to be metallic. I feel like it's not too metallic where you'll look like the Tin Man or look really foolish. It is sort of a wearable everyday metallic look because uh, it's not too much metallic if that makes sense. It's like subtle metallic and it's a lovely purpley plummy colour so I feel like that'll look really good on, I feel like on camera it might be coming more brown but in real life it is quite purple so that'll be lovely for creating um, autumn looks and this is only uh, £4 and that was from Superdrug so it's a lot more affordable than the other lip products that I showed you um, and I do think it'll be really nice to create um, nice autumn looks with that. So the next um, thing I want to talk about is a Eyeliners that I bought, so again with the following on from the autumn feel, I bought these three from Mua. One is like a purple, one is a green, one is a blue. I just thought these would be quite fun, I'll just watch them, quite fun for just doing sort of um, a little pop of colour on the eyes, whether it's like a neutral eye and then do this on the top uh, as liner or keep it sort of on the lower lashes to create a little, little oomph um, on the lower lash line. I really, really, yeah, i just seen them. I thought because they're only like one pound each, I could have a little bit of fun. And if I don't wear them too much, it's okay. But I thought these three colors are very autumn-y and wearable. And I do feel like I really love electric blue. Some people might be like, is that that autumn-y? But I do feel like blue is coming up quite on trend with makeup colors and also the purple's very autumn-y, the green's quite autumn-y into Christmas and then the blue, for me, I just feel like it feels quite fresh and 
yeah, something a little bit different for autumn. Um, so yeah, I really like those. And they're very high pigmented, which I like, um, because then you don't have to go over it lots and lots of times. So on to makeup brushes. I bought this brush recently, which is a drip of the um, more expensive, uh, I've never forgotten who does a more expensive version of this, uh, but I will hopefully remember before I finish this uh, tutorial. And it is, this like contour uh, brush and oh I remembered sorry guys the NARS uh, contour brush which is about 35 to 40 pounds this was two pounds and I bought this off uh, Amazon and yeah it's actually really like for the price it does do a nice uh, contour and I did use it today to contour um, you have to wash it uh, a couple of times to then get rid of any of the loose hairs but once you do that then it is fine and you don't it doesn't do shedding like of little hairs on your face after you do wash it a couple of times. Uh, the next item I want to talk to you about is little tweezers. I bought, got these from uh, ASOS actually, but you can get these in Boots and many other places. Little tweezer man. I like the little packets so you can keep them in your handbag or just keep them safe. So I do have the bigger version of these, but I wanted the little mini ones. Uh, you can see how small they are. There's my finger. And that was just because I wanted little ones so that it's just easy to tweeze and they don't take up very much room in your bag, um, so really like them. And also they're pink, which I have green ones, so I wanted a little bit of a different colour. And these last for so long, these were 12 50 but uh, my other pair of Tweezerman I've had for like six years, and you can just keep them clean and they last really long, so highly re recommend them. My final product is the 10 Minute Blow Dry from Blow Fast Beauty. So this is a dry shampoo and it's really nice. It's Basically, I've got a little bit of it in my hair today. It just freshens up the hair and gives a little bit of movement, which is really nice. It doesn't go on white, which is really good for anyone with dark hair or when your roots are coming through like mine. Um, so it just takes away any excess oils and really recommend this. It is, I think, around £10 and you get it from Blow Limited uh, website. Uh, they're like a fast beauty... Um, like they come to your house or come to your work, you can book in for manicures, blow dries, etc. I really like them for blow dries um, and I've used them quite a few times over at my house. Um, so yeah, this is just really good when you're trying to not, if you don't have time to wash your hair or you're trying to let your hair go for longer because you're trying to keep it in better condition. So really like a dry shampoo and this one is a really good quality and very fine and not too white. So those are all my purchases uh, for this month and recently what I've been buying. I hope you liked this uh, video and if you did like it give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!